praise the lord good evening my viewer how are you i believe you're blessed and i am too thank you so much for taking your beautiful time to view this program it's a blessing it's a pleasure and i know you're contributing to the kingdom kingdom of god uh tonight we are going to pray and we are going to pray that god may give us the grace to endure to the end the grace to endure to the end let's have an opening prayer first Father, in the name of Jesus, I give you the glory and the honor and the worship. I adore you, wonderful Father. You have done marvelous things. This far we have come. We say you are Ebenezer. You have done as well. You have blessed us. You have done mighty things through this prayer, changed lives, saved people. And we give you all the glory. Thank you for every person that has been encouraged and uplifted through this program. We give you all the glory for it is your doing, my Father. Thank you because uh, there is no limitation to your power. Nothing can hinder you. Nothing can, Lord, stand before you. Thank you so much for accomplishing your will through me. May you continue to do so. And may you continue to bless my viewer. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will reign in Jesus' name. Amen. Ah, this is a prayer that I've made many times in my life. Because as days go by, I see the danger of a person losing their salvation. I've been watching and I've just been, you know, observing uh, the people in the faith, those who are foreigners, the people that we look up to. Sometimes they reach a point and uh, it's like their love grows cold. The zeal they held from the beginning is no longer with them. Some of them are caught in some shameful acts, I would say so, that make us who are coming up question ourselves. Is it possible for a believer to end well? It makes me envy the soldiers of faith who went before us. People like Abraham, David, you know, the apostles, they completed the rest so well. And uh, I really do desire to end this race very well. I want to be told by the Lord Jesus Christ that come to my right. Come, enter into my rest, you faithful servant. I believe it is the desire of many. And I don't think there is anybody who begins this race only to quit for a, after a few days. But the, the temptations of this world are so many. That is why the Lord Jesus said that we pray so that we do not enter into various temptations. The power to defeat temptations is in prayer. And have you seen how prayer meetings are attended? By very few people. If you call for cashiers, just be sure you will not get more than a quarter of the church. When you call for prayer sessions, just be sure that the people who will attend are the people you, you know of. You know, the people you can always count on. But many people are staying away from the prayer meetings. And this is the only assured way in which we can win this race. The servant of God, the overseer of the Holy Gate of Heaven, Pastor Alex, has been for almost a man teaching about running the race of eternal life and he has so far mentioned three things that we should put into consideration if we want to run this race successfully and to the end and he spoke of prayer number one secondly he spoke of holiness and thirdly he spoke of the word of god and do you know these are the pillars that support the ministry of the holy gates of heaven these are the three pillars that hold this ministry. And the vision of the church is as many as come to us that we may lead them to the gates of heaven. Hence the name Holy Gates of Heaven. We want to lead them to the kingdom of the Father. The Lord Jesus was so bold before the Father and he said, Father, all those you gave unto me, I have shielded them and I have brought them to you. Except the son of perdition. And it was so beautiful. When the Lord Jesus was saying it is finished, it is because he had run the race to the end and he finished very well. 
and the father was very proud of him and the bible says that he made him sit at his right hand you know the right hand of a person is a, is a, is a place where one is, is respected it's a, it, the right hand of a person when you are placed on the right hand that means you are the successor of that person so the lord jesus was put on the right hand and he was given a name above all names that at the mention of this name, every knee should bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. And that under him were placed all authorities, rulerships, and strongholds and kingdoms. Wow! How I pray that I also finish well. That at the end of this race, I will look back and say like Paul, that I have fought a good fight, I have run the race, and I await the crown that the Father has promised, the crown of righteousness. So how will we end well? By what Jesus Christ said. By prayer. By prayer, by holiness, by the word of God. I really would desire to enter heaven. And heaven is a promised place. There are no changes yet. The Lord Jesus said, if it were not so, I would have told you. So if the Lord Jesus said, had changed his mind he would have told us that you know what you keep on living in the world there is no heaven for you but as long as he has not told us we know that he has prepared a place for us and it is my desire that we all run to the end let's open the book of um, 2 Timothy and we are going to see how this race is what this race is compared to the work of faith what is it compared to? And uh, we are going to read from the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5. The Bible says, An athlete is not crowned unless he competes according to the rules. This race or this work of faith is compared to a race. And we who are running it are compared to athletes. That it is the athlete who competes according to the rules who is crowned at the end. Meaning there are rules to this race. There are rules to the race of salvation, to the work of faith. We are not just walking aimlessly or anyhowly. There are rules that are laid by our Master Lord Jesus Christ. Let's look at the scenario of a, of a physical race here on earth. When those people are competing, it is the winner who is rewarded. No one else, even if there are 10 winners, they will all be crowned. If 10 people tie, they will be crowned. And it is the person who walks to the end, who walks and wins, who will be rewarded, who will be crowned, who will be given the crown of righteousness. Not just anybody. Number two, the person who does not complete the rest is not even counted like they started. And that is what is written in the book of Ezekiel. If you start doing good deeds and you change and you become wicked, whatever you did is forgotten. If you start well this rest and at some point you quit, at some point you go to the world, you are stolen by the enemy and you remain there. Everything that you did all that was written about you is totally erased and you are not remembered anymore. I've heard people say that once born again, always born again. That is a deception. You can be born again and not reach heaven. You can be born again and not see the face of Christ. So you, you, we need not to be lied to. We need to read the scriptures very well that if you depart from the way of the Lord and you begin misbehaving, that means you will be disqualified. And there is no sympathy for the person who is wounded in the rest. There is no sympathy. Only the one who uh, finishes the rest is rewarded. If you get offended in this journey, do not think that the Lord Jesus will sympathize with you on that day of judgment and tell you, I know sister so and so offended you. I know brother so and so hurt you. So I know why you did not finish the rest well. There will be no sympathy that day. The Bible says that the Lord will be dressed as a judge. No longer as the, as the Savior now. He will be at the judge. He will not be the advocate anymore. He will be the judge now telling us these are your... You know, the Bible talks of balances. 
that you will be able to balance the lord will be able to balance and see if you are qualified to enter into eternal rest are you an athlete are you running according to the rules then it is time for you to speed up so that you don't uh, you are you are not interfered with on the way you know there are many seductive ways of the enemy secondly as believers we need to be very disciplined there are things we will have to say no to we will not be allowed in every crowd we are not allowed to sit on every seat neither to stand anywhere there are particular places that the bible designates for us that we are supposed to walk this way sit this way you know walk with this kind of people not that we are going to like seclude ourselves but there are places that we are not allowed to get used to because we have a journey to run we must be disciplined to the end and i want us to pray for ourselves and take this prayer very seriously because when you read the, the book of second timothy and chapter 3 and verse 1 it says but understand this that in the last days there will come times of stress Stress will come in the last days. For men will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, inhuman, implacable, slanderous, profligate, fierce, haters of good, treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God holding the form of religion but denying the power of it avoid such people the bible says so avoid such people there are people we are supposed to avoid i say so there are places we are allowed and there are crowds we are not allowed to, to mingle with so the bible says that these people will be holding a form of religion that means they will not be totally unsaved there will be people who go to church people who are involved in every activity of the church but they fo they hold a form of religion but they deny the power behind that power of, of 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 the risen christ so people of god we always need to assess ourselves where are we where are you standing where am i standing and uh, we need to to really pray that our souls at the end will be preserved that we will receive the eternal glory of god that we will run this race without looking at the side shows. That would nothing of the enemy will seduce us to his side. No matter how the enemy camouflages as an angel of light, we will not allow it to deter us from the faith that we have been given by the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, this is how we are going to pray, and we are going to pray as we are going to be led by this the, the, this chapter, the, the, the chapter of Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 2 to 5 we are going to pray that god may help us not to be in this category you know that those things that i've stated i believe you have your bible and you're reading it uh, open the book of second timothy chapter 3 let's start from verse 2 that we are not going to be this kind of people you know people who are lovers of self and lovers of money proud arrogant abusive disobedient to our parents we will not be ungrateful unholy we will not be inhuman, we will not be slanderous, we will not be fear setters of good, we will not be all those things that are stated there. Because this, if we fall into this category, we know we will miss it. And the Bible speaks of people who are looking, you know, people who are, uh, in the last days, people will, uh, will have a hunger, a hunger for the world. And they will run here and there, but they will not receive it. Because there's, there's a, um, I don't know how man is, but there's, there's always that they, they tend to incline on a certain area. Like if I'm in a particular situation, I just want a message that fits my situation. I don't want any other message. You don't know what the Holy Spirit, why the Holy Spirit is speaking that word to you. Probably it's a preparation for something that will come in future. But because our ears are just inclined, you know, our desire is just, God, you must speak to me today. The word must be, you know, about my situation today. 
And you know, the word of God is always divided and it's divided to each and every person who is present. If you are, you, that, that word is not for you today, it might be for you tomorrow. So let's not have this inclination of, you know, I want to have this happened to me if it doesn't happen god didn't move if it doesn't happen the power of god was not there if i'm not touched in any particular way then uh, you know we, we begin to have some attitude that the presence of god was absent that is not the case the book of second timothy chapter 4 is also going to guide us into prayer verse 3 it speaks of for the time is coming when people will not endure sound teaching, but having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their likings, and will turn away from listening to the truth and wander into myths. As for you, always be steady, endure suffering, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. A time is coming, or the time is here already. People are happened about looking for for teachings that you know that please them not the teachings that rebuke not the teaching that tell them depart from this way not the teaching that tell them this is the way of the Lord people are moving into being motivated you know being excited they are looking for preachers who just speak blessings and blessings you know the Bible says that the the word of God is is, is anointed for teaching, for rebuke, for instruction. So it can't just be one-sided. It must fulfill all the purposes. And the time is here. The time where people are just looking for what they want. Verse 7, is, it talks about Paul. We want to pray that we may fight a good fight like he fought and finish the rest and keep the faith. Don't forget to pray that. That after running, after, after fighting, after running, you will keep the faith and uh, you, will, you will receive the crown of righteousness that the Lord has placed for us on that day. Uh, we are also going to pray that we will not be a people who are ashamed of the gospel and deny God. We will not be a people because um, I believe uh, in these Islamic countries, being a Christian is very dangerous. I was reading an article today and it was speaking of how the Christians are in danger. People are being killed. If you are not denouncing the name of Christ, you are being killed. So you know Jesus wants, uh, wants us to proclaim him in public. If people ask you, are you born again, you are not supposed to deny him. He says, if you deny me, I will deny you before my father. If at any chance we find ourselves in such a situation, where we need to announce that Jesus Christ is Lord. Where we need to say, I just want Jesus and nothing else. Like the three boys, Meshach, uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Those three boys, they said, if the Lord saves us, it's okay. If he doesn't, we will still not bow to the image. I pray that we will be that kind of people. We are also going to pray that we will work our, our salvation with fear and trembling. And finally, we are going to pray like David in the book of Psalms 51 10. It says, Create in me a clean heart, O Lord, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not take away your Holy Spirit. It, you know, it talks about even being restored to the joy of salvation. There, there comes a time you feel that you are not enjoying your walk with Christ. There is, no, there is nothing exciting about it because probably you are passing through hard times your prayers are not being answered you have done all you could ever do for things to be better but they are not getting better so you feel there is no joy of salvation we need to ask the Lord that we will not lose the joy of salvation and I believe with that you are ready to pray you are ready to pray for your life and you are ready to pray with, for your walk with Christ I always say that the most tempting group, the most tempted group is the youth the youth are in a place where if they really make it to heaven, they will glorify God. There are many temptations. There are many things that look right. There are many things that are drawing them. You know, there are many crowds that are beckoning them. There are many seats that, you know, 
people will tell them sit here you know there are no consequences sit here you know things will just be okay I, I just pray if you are a youth you will just pray for yourself seriously we don't know when Christ is coming back but we know it's soon sooner than anyone can tell it could be tonight it could be any day so let's pray that we will be found right let's begin to pray our oh, father in the name of Jesus we give you all the glory we give you all the worship. You are God who is true to your word. You keep it to the end. You are placed it above yourself to follow it to fulfillment. Bible says that you don't send it in vain. It is like rain from heaven. The same way it wets the earth. So does it accomplish its purpose. Father God, we give you all the glory and the honor and the worship. You are worthy. You are able. You can do all things. You are a wonderful friend. The Bible says that you stick closer than a brother. And indeed you do. My Lord and my God, you are the only friend that can remain in a lifetime. No man can have one friend all through their life. But you, O oh God, you remain for all generations. You remain in all centuries. Injuries. You remain the shoulder we can lean on. And tonight we are in, in your presence, Lord, knowing that, God, you never get tired of us. You tell us to approach your throne with confidence that we may receive grace that we need. My Father, my God, we come before you that we may receive the power to run this race to the end. Many of us, Lord, have been defiled. Many people have been uh, seduced by the enemy and they have joined the camp of the enemy unknowingly. Many people are in churches. But they are not running the race at all. Many people are in ministry, doing work and working and thinking they are working for the Lord. And yet, they are not even written in the book of life. Oh, Father of mercy, may you remember mercy upon us, O oh God. And I pray, Jehovah God, that any person who is not written in the book of life, the Lord, the power of conviction of the Holy Spirit is going to descend on such a man and woman and will convict each and every one of them. And Lord God of glory, they will repent and turn to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What is the need of gaining the whole world and losing our souls? It is so much scary, Father God, to see how people are running the rest. People are not observing the rules. And the Bible tells us that no one receives a prize unless they run by the rules that are set by those who are, uh, who are in charge of the rest. My Father, my God, I pray that you may enable us to keep the rules that you are placed for us. The rules that you have already put in place. And you have said that we walk like this. And Lord Jehovah, if we walk the opposite, then we are denying you. And we are walking against your will. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you will help us to stand. That you will help us to move ahead. I pray that we will not, Lord Jehovah, be in the same king son but i pray that you may raise us lord and build us on a firm foundation where no wind will blow us away where nothing will make us fall i pray jehovah that our faith will be unshakable in you i pray that we will not be diverted by anything in this world from lord focusing on you in the mighty name of jesus many are the skins of the enemy some are attractive to the eye others are attractive to the eye to the heart but we know their skins that will later on destroy us oh father god of glory redeem us from such schemes redeem us from the plans of the enemy redeem us from the work of the enemy redeem us from the power of the enemy in the mighty name of jesus anything that has appears to be captivating us Lord yet it is from the enemy may you set our eyes Lord to see clearly that it is a scheme and a way of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus anything that can move us away from thy will Father God of glory I pray that the Holy Spirit will be there to rebuke us will be there Lord to convict us that the way we are taking is not right the Bible says that God you know the people who are yours and I pray Pray that Father, every person with a mark of Christ, I pray that you will draw us back to the right path. I pray that you will draw us back to the leveled path in the mighty name of Jesus. Where we have, Lord, taken
even our hearts and our hearts are inclined in the wrong way and in the de- in a dangerous place. Father God, may you deliver us by your power. Lord, we do not want to perish. And I pray that my viewer will also not perish. I pray for myself and my loved one that we will not perish. Convict us, Lord, where we are, Lord, continually walking in sin. Father God, may you convict us. I pray that none of us is going to be comfortable in sin. Every day will be a reminder. You will send signs every day and every time to remind us that where we are is not a safe place. In the name of Jesus Christ, characters that we have pro- we have grown up with and they are wrong characters. They are characters that are ungodly and yet we are still holding on to them. Father, convict us of them that we may depart from them. Anything that can make us miss the kingdom of God, Lord, may you help us to move from them in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us, Lord, as the Bible says in the book of 2 Timothy and chapter 3 from verse 2, that we will not be people who are lovers of ourselves, lovers of money. We will not be deceitful. We will not be a people with a form of religion, yet we, we deny the power in, in Christ. Father God, I pray, help us by your power in Jesus' mighty name. Help us by your authority that we are not going to carry sin. We are not going to carry evil. We are not going to be attracted to any way of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He is a deceiver. But I pray that we will not be deceived. That we will be alert. That we will be ready to rebuke him. That we will submit to you. That when we rebuke him, he will flee in the name of of Jesus Christ that our hearts will be dedicated to you oh our father and our God I pray create in us a clean heart a heart that knows how to love a heart that is broken the Bible says that this is the acceptable sacrifice a heart that is broken and a contrite spirit I pray that we will be so in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I pray that we will be a people who care about the Holy Spirit whom we were united with in the day of our of our, of, our, of our salvation. Lord, I pray that we will remain in you. We will run the rest faithfully. We will fight the good fight. And we will finish the faith with the, with the faith that Christ handed to us in the name of Jesus. Lord, my God, you are full of mercy and you have helped many to make it. I pray you will help us in this generation to make it. I pray that you will help the youth to make it. I, the Bible says that flee from youthful lust. I pray that they will do so. They will flee from any lust. They will flee from the desires of the flesh. They will flee from the way of destruction in the name of Jesus. I pray that we will have a youth that stand for the faith, that a youth that is not willing to compromise, a youth that is uh, that are vigilant in the mighty name of Jesus, a youth that are holding the sword of the word and walking with it, evangelizing and telling people about the salvation of the Lord. Lord, I pray Give us the courage that we will not deny you. Make us bold that we will not refuse that you are our God. Whatever happens, I pray that we will still stand. We will still hold on to Christ. We will still move with Christ. We will still reign with Christ. I pray nothing is going to take the position of Christ in our hearts. Everything that seems so attractive, yet it is defiling us. Father, let our eyes lose taste to it in Jesus' mighty name. Every Everything about us will glorify your name in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father God, only you can hold us to the end. Only you can help us to run. Only you can give us the power to run to the end in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us to embrace the word fully. Help us to embrace the word holy. I pray that we will take it as it is wholesomely in Jesus' mighty name. I pray that we will not be a people who take pieces and bits of the word to suit our situation, but we will read it that our inner man and our spiritual man may be strong to resist the ways of the enemy, to resist the schemes of the enemy, to defeat the devil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray, Jehovah God of glory, may your word be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. How can a young man keep his ways pure? By keeping a word in their heart. And I pray that your word will never depart from our mouth. I pray that we will tie it on our necks. I pray that we will walk by that word. We will live that word. I pray that Jehovah 
no conversation will end without us speaking the word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray, help us to love the brotherhood. Help us to remain together as believers. Unite us, make us one in the name of Jesus. Divisions, Lord, and useless uh, useless uh, 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 divisions will not be in our midst in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There will be no biting and devouring one another. I pray that Lord, we will not be a people who cause us and others to be offended and leave the faith. I pray Jehovah God, we will respect ourselves. I pray that we will honor the name of Jesus that is in our lives, in the name of Jesus. The Bible says it is better the end of something than the beginning and I pray that Jesus Jesus, we will finish well. I pray we will finish well. I declare I will finish well. I pray for my, my viewer that they will finish well. And no one is going to miss the way. Snatch us out of unfaithfulness. Snatch us out from lies. Snatch us out from foolishness. Father God of glory, save us from evil. Save us by your power. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray my Father that now None of us are going to miss the way. We are going to abide by thy way. In the name of Jesus, I pray that we will not become like Jans and Jambres who, who oppose Moses. We will not be a people who oppose servants of God. We will not be a people who oppose those who carry the mantle of God. We will not be despisers of what God has put in others. We will not be a people who neglect the gift that you put in us. I pray that God, the talents that are in us, we we are going to take them seriously. We are going to use them to grow the kingdom of heaven in the name of Jesus. I pray that nothing, Lord Jehovah, will pull us out of your presence. I pray that we will value your presence. I pray that we will desire more of your presence. I pray that we will desire more of your spirit. May our desire be for the good things that are in Christ. May our desire be for the treasures that are hidden in Christ. And I pray, Jehovah, Restore unto any person who has lost the joy of salvation. Restore unto them, my Father. Anybody who feels that they cannot run the race, my Father, may you restore the joy. Anybody who has lost the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit has been taken away from them. I pray, Lord, as they pray this prayer, may you restore the Holy Spirit upon them. I pray, create in us a clean heart. Create in us, Lord, a spirit that trembles at your word, that we may work our salvation with fear and trembling in the name of Jesus. I pray that none of us will be snatched out of this world prematurely. Premature death will not be our portion. We will work for the kingdom and make it in Jesus mighty name. We will defeat the enemy. We will put him under our feet. We will rise with power and authority. We will run without being distracted. I pray God we will not lose our souls to it eternal damnation. I pray God, we will not Jehovah be a people who are destined for hell. For hell is for the devil and the, the angels that defy you. My Lord, I pray, we will not be a, an arrogant people. Help us, Lord, to subject ourselves to you and to subdue ourselves to you. To subdue this body until we make it. Paul says, lest I preach and at the end of the day, I miss it. Lord, I pray we will not preach and miss heaven. We will not teach and miss heaven. We will not sing and miss heaven. I pray we will not minister and miss heaven. Father, I refuse to think that I'm serving you when I'm serving myself, when I'm serving men. I pray, God, that my number one desire will be to serve you. And I pray the same for my viewer. That number one desire will be to please you and walk, for, uh, walk with you and work for your vision and mission in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, you are good. I know, Lord, you are full of mercy. And I know that somebody has been restored to the faith. I know somebody has been brought back to the way of truth. I know somebody has been snatched from the flames of fire. I know somebody who is walking in disobedience is going to receive a conviction and they are going to come back to their path. For this prayer is for restoration and for help for us 
to run to the end, to endure to the end. Even when the hard times come, we will not miss the way. Even when tough times come, we will not miss your way. Thank you, Father, because even times of persecutions we will stand, not by our own power, but by your spirit and by your strength. We will make it because we are destined for heaven. We were bought with a precious price. We cannot miss heaven in Jesus' mighty name. Preserve our souls, O oh God, from eternal destruction in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you so much, our Father. Glory and honor to you. Be adored, be exalted, be glorified forever and ever. In Jesus' name I do pray and believe. Amen and amen and amen make this an every time prayer if you want to stand to the end pray for your soul to be saved and to be in the safe hands of the lord when you die you will not go to hell but that you will end up in heaven in jesus mighty name if you want to follow the teachings that the servant of god has been preaching you can go to our website the, the sites are just there before below your screen just visit those sites and you will see the rest to eternal life. And uh, follow those teachings there. They've been there for almost a month. Follow them and uh, I believe that the Lord will do something good to you. God bless you. Until we meet again, may the Lord keep you. Amen.